if I need to point two main drivers behind the, the growth that we saw in Q3 2023, I think it's technology. Uh, at core today, have a much better, stronger technology offering that if you need to compare it to the previous year. And I would say the second uh, driver is a, a nice growth that we see in two specific regions, APAC and EMEA, that contribute a lot of the business uh, growth in the business that we saw. So in specific uh, behind this region is, I think Europe was the main, uh, the main driver to the growth that we saw. The main two countries uh, for us that we focus in Asia or the APAC region is not uh, Asia, it's Australia mainly, and I would say greater China region. So that's the two biggest countries today that we have uh, active clients from. But actually we see a uh, very nice growth from many different countries within this uh, region. So Southeast Asia in general. Sales in the US uh, uh, were uh, a bit flat if you we, if we need to compare it quarter over quarter, and we saw some decline year over year. Having said that, if I need to look at initial numbers that we have in Q4 2023 and compare it to numbers that we have in the previous year, we actually see a very strong growth in this specific uh, region. So we are very optimistic about what we can generate from this region Q4 and obviously 2024 in, uh, uh, for the entire year. So the current uh, play of the company is still a conservative uh, play. We're using the cash mainly to earn a, a nice interest rate, so which is always good. I think once we see a bit more uh, a positive market, uh, especially for small cap like Edco, then I think we can uh, we can uh, be a a bit more uh, uh, aggressive uh, using the uh, utilize the current cash uh, that we have and obviously maybe go to the market and uh, do another fundraising as well if you think the the, the stock price is right yeah that's true that's a uh, usually the Black Friday uh, uh, weekend, which obviously include the Cyber Monday as well. That's the biggest milestone for many of our clients uh, uh, throughout the year. And, uh, and I can gladly report that uh, we can see like a very nice growth year over year across the board. So if before there was talking about recession and there was uncertainty about consumer behavior, I can definitely report a very strong uh, holiday uh, season, season and very strong uh, uh, sales throughout this uh, weekend, which, which is basically very positive things for everyone. So that's that's a good question. I can tell you a few focus areas that uh, we focus regarding when we building our tech uh, roadmap for 2024 and uh, behind. I would say first and foremost is obviously integrating more and more uh, AI into our apps. So so we already do it successfully, but we want to see as the AI capabilities are growing, we want to make sure that uh, we utilize AI to the utmost uh, that we can. So that's I think one focus area for the company. Another focus area is, I would say, focusing around enterprise type of clients. So look at what type of te marketing technology this type of clients need and, and try to develop a, a solution around these specific needs. And I would say another type of uh, focus area for us are internal activity that uh, business activities the company is currently doing and how we can better utilize tech in order to scale up our current uh, business. So I would say AI, enterprise type of clients and internal business the company is doing and how we can better utilize tech in order to achieve more over there as well. <music>